creatures that fool even you, Mother Nature. Oh, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Hello again. This is Stephen Welsh, President of the International Chiropractors Association, with the new weekly update for July 6th. Well, today marks the beginning of the transition to a weekly format for the ICA update. And as he indicated last Thursday, there's a new movie premiering on Wednesday, a movie produced by Dr. Andrew Wakefield. And my objective today is simple, to give you incentive to watch it and then to get ready for what is sure to come over the next several months. How do we navigate this increasingly precarious world in which we live? In order to understand where we're going, we need to understand where we've come from. In order to understand where we've come from, you need to watch 1986 The End. It is the story of one of the most powerful forces in the universe, and that is maternal intuition. This is a force that has evolved in our species over thousands and thousands of years. It is far more powerful than anything else that man might have contrived. It is the reason that we are here on this planet right now. And if we listen to it, it will be the reason why we are here in a thousand years time. You see, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature this is a phrase from a TV commercial almost 50 years ago. Advertising is a powerful media. It's how our belief systems are manipulated. And isn't the current debate surrounding the discussion of chiropractic and the innate immune system all about the pros and cons of attempting to fool mother nature for a profit? Did you know that each year almost $4 billion are spent in direct-to-consumer advertising of pharmaceuticals, and it wasn't until last week that it dawned on me why they do it. Now, I have a theory. I can't prove it, but it's a hypothesis worth considering. Did it ever occur to you that the money being spent on advertising was not really to influence the viewer? Did it ever occur to you that the real reason just might be to control the messaging that is permitted to be distributed through the major media outlets. You see, one threat to remove those advertising dollars can be quite an incentive to kill a story or to ban the distribution of a movie. But that information revolution of today is now opening up new avenues, avenues that are bypassing those who seek to control the messaging and I hope you will take advantage of them. Today, I have a simple message. I offer no opinions, no advice, except to watch a movie, the movie that premieres on Wednesday. Now, I am simply going to share with you a series of recent headlines. You look at them, draw your own conclusion. And as I stated last Thursday, if there was ever a time to recognize the need for freedom in healthcare, it is now. Well, that's my update for this week. Next week, I'll return with, with the next weekly update as we continue to provide you with accurate information 
about what we all are collectively experiencing. Meanwhile, please reach out and connect with the ICA. We are here for you to help you help your patients because they still do need that reassurance that there's no need for mass panic. And don't forget, you are truly their beacon of hope and we will get through these challenging times and we will do so by working together. Thank you.